Welcome to another edition of Morning Market Call. I'm your host, Rhett Weller, here today with Mariah McClanahan and Carl Haney. How are you guys doing? Good. Great, thank you. Good. Uh, from what I understand, you both uh, worked an internship at Intel this summer. Uh, tell us a little bit about your projects, what you were working on. So uh, I was with a marketing group, the store management team for their new venture app up, um, and was working on a social media plan. Cool. And I was in finance. I actually worked in the software and services group, and I was writing a business plan for their entry into a new software market. Wow, sounds like fun. So, so do you feel like your uh, projects impacted Intel? Um, yeah, mine, mine did really significantly. So they're actually implementing it right now. It'll add to the bottom line in 2011. So it was pretty strategic, really fun, very influential. Great. Uh, a, a built out a revenue model for it is still moving up levels of management to, to be decided whether it'll actually be implemented or not. Uh, but yeah, it actually uh, could create several million dollars worth of revenue for them. That's great. Intel has a history of, of performance and moving along in the market and, and really being kind of a, a bellwether in the tech industry. Uh, how much exposure did you get to the, to the company as a whole? Um, I felt like I got pretty good exposure. I, I mean, especially a lot in the specific areas I was working in. But in general, they tried to keep us as interns kind of open to new ideas and we talked to a lot of controllers and things from various departments. Uh, I did a lot of networking at the company while I was there, uh, looking at other groups that I might be interested in uh, returning to, and they're, they're trying everything. They're, they're experimenters, and if there's something new in technology, they're going to try it out and test it to see if it's going to work. Great. Uh, Car Carl, what do you think makes a successful employee at Intel? Um, actually, that was, so when I got there, that was the, the first, um, probably the best advice that I was given was, you got to go out there and you've got to establish your network because if you don't, you won't survive at Intel. It's a huge company, 100,000 employees. And if you don't know people, then uh, your ideas are never going to take root and, and you won't be successful. Great. That sounds, that sounds awesome. Mariah, do you have any insights? Um, uh, going along with that, just be getting good at influencing. So using that network to really help people make better decisions and, and share your ideas. Okay. Well, so tell me some highlights. I mean, you guys were in Oregon this summer. Uh, the weather up there is a little rainy, but did you have fun while you were there? She had more highlights <laughs> than I did, so I'll let her answer that question. So the finance internship program is very structured, and they do a lot to make you really happy. So the projects, I mean, the projects are a highlight as well as the, the friendships and the networking that you do. But in addition, you get to do fun things like riding the corporate jet to California, whitewater rafting, um, boating, wakeboarding, zip lining, wow. things like that. But I got the netbook in the end, so. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> that, was, that was about all I did, so, but they did give me that book, so. Oh, that's great. Cool. Sounds like Intel is pretty fun. So, so what advice would you give to an intern looking, or a prospective intern looking to get into Intel? Uh, network. Uh, again, I, I really think that's the most important thing there. If you have somebody there that's pulling for you, uh, it'll do more than anything else. You could possibly do because I'm I'm not necessarily I wouldn't say that I have a strong tech background mm -hmm. or a lot of knowledge when it comes to technology um, and the networking was what got me the offer. Oh great, right? I'd say the same for me, but in addition, just really getting to know the industry and getting to know the company. So reading their press releases, finding out the issues that Intel's facing. Great, uh, awesome. So I do have one question: When you jumped on this corporate jet, did you visit anyone special in California? <laughs> Any friends of yours no in the Bay Area? Special. Oh wait, I did. I visited you. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. I visited uh, my Ryan friends actually, at Cisco. <laughs> we actually had lunch when we were in. Uh, <laughs> she flew to California. Oh, we had lunch. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry, Rhett. <laughs> no problem. Um, well, great. Well, thanks for coming on today. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add, or? No. Good luck. And Intel, it's it's a great company to work for. The experience, no matter where you're at, will be a positive one. All right. Thanks. Well, that's it for this episode of Morning Market Call. My name is Rhett Weller, and we will see you next time. MMC is brought to you by the Marriott School of Management in association with the Brigham Young University Department of Communications. MMC is made possible by a generous donation from Larry Tasjan and Gary Williams and is produced by Rhett Weller, Todd Castagna, Mason Chen, Joel Toby, and Sabrina Beck with line producing by Beth and Brian Grimmett. For more information, find us on Twitter or at morningmarketcall.org.